Well, I don't know whether this is a good idea or what, but I'm going to do it anyway, just in case it's brilliant. Thank you for everything, Mum. It's a brilliant send-off. I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Just like a reporter, yeah, like a journalist. You understand? Yeah, you're just like a journalist, and, and it's very interesting because it's like a journal. It's like a. It's like if you were in the moon or in an adventure, and you film yourself, and it's very interesting because you are the actor. It, it, the, the most interesting thing. It's not the landscape around you, it's you. What is your adventure uh, without very few money, just a guitar and a bike? <laughs> it's very courageous what, what you're doing. Hi, I'm Nick Meadows. I'm 38 years old. I've been living in a caravan just outside of Bath in the west of England, UK. I decided two weeks ago I was going to ride around the world on a push bike. Starting in France in late January 2008, I set off. The idea was to bust my way down to the south of Spain or Portugal, where I intended to work the summer season to get the money together to ride across Africa to India. Armed with a handy cam and my acoustic guitar, this story is about my journey across Europe, the people I met along the way, the realisations I came to, and the preparations I'll have to make in order to cross Africa and Asia. I rode for five and a half months in total and covered over 5,000 kilometres. This is my story. Recording this in Portsmouth on a Samsung little DV player. Uh, so, oh, let me just do this. First recording, got the lens cap off, and I'm talking to Simon. Simon. Truck driver from Nick Wales. Nick is talking to Simon, truck driver from Wales. I so, uh, what do you think about my journey, Simon? I think you're very brave. Good luck. When I <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> when I want. I'm usually well. I'm fully aware that every time that ooh, you have a great time before you know you go up, you have to sort of go down. And um, and I've been kind of, you know, confidently sat around dinner tables, sort of saying, oh yeah, well you're going to have to go down first and struggle for a bit before I come on up. Uh, well, this is it. Uh, Thinking about riding to a youth hostel, or something like that, or a backpackers. Hate these places, more than you can imagine. Now, and if that doesn't look like sunshine, then I don't know what does. Things have uh, certainly picked up. Fucked again. It's just fucking crazy. Uh, Hello, Steve. Steve, no? Yeah. Hello, Steve. How are you? <laughs> my, 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 my friends. We are down France. It's raining cold. It's not many much customer. It's a little bit misty, but this is the uh, view from my tent this morning. I'm in a, a kind of woody glade. It's... Okay, I'm going to attempt to play here. Assuming the Money owns this bar there doesn't have a problem. The police have just come and said, yeah, it's okay if I play. This is the only little spot I can play in town. Unfortunately, it's near a main road. The sun's going down. Not a cloud in the sky. It's all beautiful. Let's just see what happens. Probably get moved on. Never mind. The road, which is going to take me directly down to Spain, is about 155 kilometers to Bayonne. And then it's just a, a short trip past Beira, it's over the border, and then I'll get to San Sebastian by Saturday afternoon, I believe. It's going down, it's getting dark. The only problem is that sign says Attention, Palombia, danger, 200 meters. Now, providing Palombia doesn't mean bear, I'll be alright. Two, three, four. Close your eyes, give me your hand, darling. Let me 
we start again? I did it wrong. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three, four. Close your eyes. Give me your hand, darling. Do you feel my heart beating? Do you understand? Do you it's been so long since we talked. Cool. And I have been here many times. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. So, uh, it's just invited me to my house here. It's her mother's birthday. Bon anniversaire Merci. again. <laughs> and now we're going to give a little performance to her mother. So. I haven't slept at all in days. It's been so long since we talked. And I have been here many times. I just don't know what I'm doing. So what can I say? It's been a day of mixed emotion. Um, woke up feeling ugh and rode against the wind ugh. Found that five euros, had a play, felt ah. Sunny, headed out of town, realised I was in the mountains, thought ugh. Found a, a, a little a stream where, or a, a pond, I don't know, a stream and uh, washed my hair and had a wash, that felt ah. Rode into the mountain, really against the wind and just at the point of absolute despair when I was just questioning everything, even just thinking, why am I? here sort of thing um got a lift out of it by jesus and uh, he's pointing me in the direction of this spot and i'm um, making camp for the night um and i've done that i've bought lots of food won't be able to play in Olvera, and he's given me the directions uh, and it's going to take another couple of days to get to my dad's but i counted my euros i've got 40 so everything's a-okay <laughs>